Hey guys, happy Sunday to everybody. Um, I was not sure I was going to be on to, you know, make a video or up to making a video today, but I decided I got to get back into the swing of things. Um, but first I wanted to say before I get into the topic that I want to talk about, um, I just want to say thank you to all of the, all of you guys out there that have reached out to me on social media or messaged me in regards to the loss of our much loved dog, Molly. It means the world to me. I know that many have gone through it. I know to some people, a dog is just a dog, but she really was a family member and we had her for 16 and a half years. She was like my third child, <laughs> honestly. So it's been very difficult. Um, much harder than I had actually anticipated knowing that she was, you know, going downhill for the last few months. It's still just, it's uncomprehensive, uncomprehend, what's the word I'm trying to say? Uncomprehendable. <laughs> I can't, I can't find the word. <clears throat> Anyways, it's much harder. It was and is much harder than I would have imagined or could have imagined. I just it's it's been it's been very difficult i am trying to move forward and not dwell um so here we are i decided i'm going to kill two birds with one stone i'm going to chat about something that i think is really important and i think needs to be addressed and also i get my baby fix and you know <laughs> which is you know what i need because it brings me joy um so we have lola here and I actually, she's in the same outfit still, but what I did find is the same brand. This is the May, Maybe brand. And I forgot that I, I didn't forget, but I, it's out of my, out of sight, out of mind that I had little knit, um, sandals by Maybe as well. So I realized that it is literally the exact same color, same fabric or whatever it is, um, yarn whatever it is that they're using. So it's a perfect match. So I wanted to put those on her and her feet literally fit into them perfectly. They're a little big on Monroe, still cute, but they are tiny. They are super tiny, but they are perfect little newborn size, um, knitted sandals. They're just so precious. And I really like this color on her and I just didn't have the heart to change her. Not to mention when I'm talking in a video, especially about something important. And I want to stay on topic. It's, I just shouldn't change doll while talking about something important. I lose my train of thought, you know, I get off in the ditch, so to speak, and, you know, <laughs> forget what I was like focused on because I can't do two things at once. Um, so the thing I want to talk about is, you know, addressing the bullying. Like I've talked about bullying and I, I that it's wrong. This is going to be different. It's a different conversation because I'm going to be absolutely raw and real with you guys and I'm going to give it to you straight because I feel like there are so many people that are trying to dance around the subject of bullying that's been happening in our community for a really long time now and there's been a lot of back and forth, there's a lot of sides taken, there's a lot of um, people not getting the whole story and trying to defend themselves. And then there's yet another back and forth. And so I want to talk about this in a way that, you know, I need to be real about this. I am going to talk about the fact that I have contributed to um, fueling it. I don't believe in bullying. I'm gonna say that right off the top. I think there's a lot of it happening because we live on social media, we communicate through social media, we don't communicate face to face. You know, there's a lot of uh, bold activity because it's behind a screen. So it's easy to, you know, get quite nasty and attack people's character, attack people's looks. Um, there's a line that I feel like because it's because the back and forth is done on social media and through social media platforms that the way we treat people sometimes when we get angry or upset we're more apt to cross that line 
because we don't have to see them face to face. We don't have to deal with them and actually talk things out. And I think there's the removal of personalization by arguing via through a screen. I think that's contributed greatly to why we constantly have these back and forth arguments, petty, silly exchanges with different people, why you don't find that there are people that are willing to work things out and find a common ground to agree to disagree. Instead, because it's behind a screen, behind it, because it's also something that once you have sent your final thoughts, because you have to have the last word, you can block and then you never have to see that person or allow them. And that's been a big thing that I've watched evolve over the last few years that people use as ammo when they're angry at somebody, they get petty. They say things they may not necessarily mean, but in the moment they feel it and then they block and delete so that that person can never get back in communication with them. So yes, I have fallen to, I have hidden people from my channel. I don't do it very often, but I have, I don't block people from my channel. There is not a single person that's actually blocked and people that think that they're blocked or hidden generally aren't because I have a very short list and most of them are the crazy non dow collecting people that put lewd crap that has to do with like pornography or something awful under my videos. Those are the ones that I particularly won't allow <laughs> a second chance. I've gotten quite, you know, I've tried to be better and better about being more open to, Hey, everybody makes mistakes. Sometimes people, you know, comment things in the heat of the moment or they disagree with you or, you know, they might see something on someone else's channel that makes them want to comment on your channel and they're just trying to stand up for their friend or whatever. So I generally don't hide people anymore from my channel unless they're being lewd or unless they've outwardly attacked me, which has not happened in a very long time. Um, but those out there that probably think that they are blocked or hidden, you're not. You can comment. I am trying to be welcoming to everyone, even though I've had rifts with people in the past. I am adult enough to know that that shouldn't last a lifetime. And we have moments where we have disagreements with people. I can move on from them. I'm not sure everybody else can out there. So that's what's bringing me to, okay, why, why is there so much of this quote unquote bullying happening? I'm seeing a lot of different doll collectors that are posting on other social media platforms like they, they're they standing with this one because they believe that they're in the right. And here's the thing, guys. This is what I've learned <laughs> and I'm still learning. We all contribute. <laughs> we all contribute to the bullying, whether we want to believe it or not. We do. All of us, including myself. And when I say that I've contributed, I'm being absolutely real with you guys. I have, I am, I am, I am at fault for contributing in a way because I've watched my closest friends be attacked. I've watched my closest friends' character be attacked, their looks being attacked. And so I was taught growing up that you stand up for those that you believe are being wronged. And in my mind, I think that that's the right thing to do. However, when I comment under my friends' videos that do speak out on this and call out those that are hurting them by commenting, I am fueling it by any of us commenting on anybody's video, talking about somebody else's, we're always fueling it. We are potentially hurting someone else's feelings. And listen, it doesn't matter why I comment. It really doesn't at the end of the day. We all have our friends. We all take sides. But by choosing to take a side and then voicing your opinion about somebody else that you may or may not know the whole situation, you're contributing to the quote unquote bullying that people are saying 
is happening. We all, so therefore we all contribute because we're all commenting. We all feel bad for somebody that's, that's hurting. We want to show our support and listen, I also know that my friends and the people that I support, they're not perfect. They make mistakes. They do things wrong sometimes. I, but I have friendships with my friends because I choose to accept them as who they are, flaws included, just like they do with me. I make mistakes. I've made some really big mistakes on social media and in making videos and things that I say that I look back on and I wish I could change it because I have hurt somebody over. I think that that's part of um, us putting ourselves out there and sometimes making videos um, or posts when we're angry. And I try really hard not to do that anymore. I try really hard, although I, I don't always, I'm not always able to, you know, hold myself to that, <laughs> you know, and I don't realize sometimes when I've made a video or talked about something that it, that it honestly hurt somebody. And I don't ever want that to be the case, but with this quote unquote bullying, we have all played a part. There's not one single person in this community that's perfect, but if you can't own your part, it continues to fuel it. It continues the back and forth. So ultimately, I get that you want to take sides, but most of us will never know the whole story. And that's the issue. When someone comes on and makes a video for their plight towards, I'm wronged, I'm being bullied, I'm being hurt, and this person is hurting me, and they call them out, those that are watching don't know the whole story and you're not usually getting the truth from the person that's putting the video out. Not 100% of it because it's it's one person's perception. It's one person's view of what's happened. So how can any of us who are not in their shoes and, and aren't living it, how can we possibly know unless you are very, 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 very close with that person and you have watched and you've paid attention and seen how it has escalated, then you can't potentially side with that person full well knowing that they are 100% right. Because I'm here to tell you that there are a lot of finger pointers that are constantly poking, poking, deleting, poking, deleting. And then there's a video made saying, I'm being hurt. And I get that they probably believe they're being hurt. But those that are upset, calling out the quote unquote bullies, have to understand that there is a part that they play in it. And we all have to own our own shit. We all have to own the fact that, okay, maybe I've done some wrong. Maybe I have said some things that are very hurtful and that's what made that person lash out. Maybe the posts and the comments and me attacking people's character and attacking someone's looks was crossing a line and I shouldn't do that. Until people own that type of thing, there'll never be peace. And when you take maybe a tiny truth of someone's character and then you twist it and turn it into something that is nothing but a big lie, you have to expect that that person will come back and defend themselves because you're attacking their credibility. You're attacking their morals and them and their business potentially because you could be affecting their business by putting out that information that is not truthful. And you also have to take what you hear from people around you with a grain of salt to say, oh yes, that person did this. That person wronged me and that person did this to somebody and they did that to somebody because everybody loves to jump on the bandwagon when they don't like somebody. So if you take information with a grain of salt and don't use it, that's smart. We're here to enjoy dolls. The rest of it's literally nonsense. The reasons like, has, has anybody done anything in this community to deserve 
the vial that has been slung? I don't think so. I don't think there's any disagreement that's happened in our Dow community that I have come across that warrants this crazy behavior and to create such an environment where you're just back and forth the negativity and you constantly are putting out information against somebody else instead of making happy videos. Nothing I have seen warrants that, but it builds. It starts off with something seemingly innocent poking at somebody. If you poke enough at somebody, you get the right person. They're going to poke back, except they're going to slam back because they're sick of being poked. And there are a lot of like, you know, read between the lines stuff that goes on in our community. I realize that. I'm not always aware of it, to be honest with you. Half the time, I'm so completely oblivious when someone's like, did you see that? And this is what they meant by it. And, you know, that's a total dig towards such and such. I'm like, no, I didn't see it, nor was I aware, nor would I have caught that because I don't read into things in the way that a lot of people do, which there's a level of paranoia there that someone's always poking at them or someone's always, you know, saying something mean and they mean something that they, you know, they're insinuating something and it's got to be about me. And there's a lot of that that happens when it's truly not. It's truly quite innocent most of the time. Like getting the same outfit as somebody else. I can assure you, I am never out to just copy, 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 copy. My friends will know. <laughs> if I want to copy them, I'll ask them where they got something and I want exactly that. And I have done that. But if I come up with the same outfit as somebody else's channel, chances are it is just that. It's chance. It's by complete chance that it happens because... We all somewhat have similar tastes, I truly believe. Um, we all like similar cute things and the trends come out and we buy with the trends because that's what we do. We see it and it's new baby stuff and we all go, ooh, we got to have it. <laughs> so the copying happens and it's very innocent. Like, but making constant reference to I had it first and needing to have that, you know, recognition is what pokes people. It's what bothers people. And it's what sparks people to laugh about it because it's funny. And listen, there's times where I'll, I'll also own that I have commented at other people's expenses, getting a good laugh out of some of the nonsense in our community. I have done that. Because sometimes I just have to laugh about it because sometimes it's just so ridiculous. You can't do anything but laugh because it's like, how, how can someone really take offense to, you know, someone having the same diaper or having the same outfit and then having to post about it and then getting a whole conversation? Well, that's why we go, oh gosh, like, are they really that upset about it? And to, to the mass of, you know, or majority of our community we all think it's silly because you can't possibly know who has what. It's it's literally impossible. I've had so many people have the exact same things as I have or have had over the years. And it's just part of it. When you share on social media, if you show anything, if people like it, they're going to seek it out and they're going to try to find it. That's just nature of what it is. And you're not going to get recognition. Shoot. If I expected recognition from everything someone had that was like mine or was the same thing as mine, well, I'd be constantly recognized because I've been here long enough and have showed enough hauls of where I've gotten things. I would demand that I be, oh, I had it first. So I deserve recognition in, in everybody's video that has it. That would be ridiculous. And how possibly, how could people know? You got to put it into context and put it into perspective and look at the bigger picture of things. It's innocent. It's all innocent. And if someone you don't like ends up having the same thing as you, let it go. You don't have to speak on it. I mean, sometimes saying nothing is the best way so that everybody can just enjoy. Like, what's the point of this back and forth? What's the point of the arguing? what's the point of being angry? Like, I feel like 
if we keep saying we're here for different reasons, we're here to enjoy the dolls. We're not here to, for the, the, the nasty behavior yet. We all watch the nasty behavior. So for all of us out there that say that we don't, we don't want to engage in any of the negativity, we all do by watching and commenting. So we're all part of it. We all fuel it. <laughs> we all fuel it. Even I fuel it. I have my ways of, you know, supporting people that I know will upset others and I'll own it. I'll own it. I don't do it with a vengeance. I certainly don't do it seeking to hurt other people. I am truly trying to support my friends that I feel are, are hurting. Just as I see the other side of it and they're hurting and they feel wronged. Everybody feels what they feel and it's valid. But you really got to look at the bigger picture of how you've contributed to get there. So if you don't like the bullying, just stop engaging. We say this all the time, just ignore, just ignore. And I know that my group of friends has gotten quite good at just ignoring things because one, we don't follow the people that don't like us, but there's a constant reference going on of the, let's say other side you know, and I get roped in, I get sucked in, I get roped in because I comment under my friends and support that I am just a vile human. I'm a vile creature. You know, lies have been <laughs> spun about me. I've learned so much about myself because, you know, when someone likes to speak on me, when they don't really know me, they were never really friends with me, then I find it somewhat entertaining I guess at times but it gets really old because listen I don't need people attacking me because I stand up for my friends you know at the end of the day we were all friends once you see all this divide like new new collectors come into this hobby and they see this huge divide and they see one side bickering with the other and back and forth back and forth and posts going up and this and that and bully this and bully that and this person's horrible and what people don't understand is that most of us were all friends at one point in time, or at least acquaintances. We all got along and then something happens. And because people were friends, the rest of the group of collectors don't need to get involved. If you stay out of it, you're better off that way. And I have also found that majority of collectors who side with one side will come across and side with the other as well because they don't even realize who you're talking about. They don't even realize, or they don't care because they follow who they follow because they like the dolls and the content that the person puts up on their, on their channel. So, and that's how it should be. You should follow who you wanna follow. You should like the people you wanna like, and you shouldn't dislike somebody because someone else does that you follow. It's just, it's silly. We're adults. <laughs> we should act like adults. And I think that moving forward, I wish both sides, everybody would just, there's not even like, there's so many sides at this point. There's so many people bickering in our community. It's like, it's so hard to keep up with. I can't keep up with it. And I guess having some time to reflect like real life trauma or real life loss has made me realize how ridiculous it is that we're even arguing about dolls and doll clothes and this, that, and the other thing. It really, we don't. We don't need to do that. You know, if we really want to keep this a happy place, we have we have the ability to choose to make it that way. And I commend those channels that just stay out of all the all the drama. I commend you because I have seen a good number of channels that just have stayed absolutely quiet and just stayed right out of it and I I just my hat off to you. My hat's off to you, honestly. That's the way it should be. You know, we get down this rabbit hole and we, we just fight and we fight and we fight and we don't want to give up the fight and we don't want to see our, our own wrongdoing because in, in that fight, everybody has done something wrong that's involved. Everybody. But when you cross a line, you got to think like, should I have really attacked someone's character? Should I have attacked someone's looks? Because that to me is just hitting below the belt. And it shouldn't ever come to that. It shouldn't ever be that. None of us are perfect. None of us 
don't do anything wrong all the time. We're not, we're just, we're human. We make mistakes, but you've got to give someone the chance to make it right. And like I said, at the end of the day, we were all friends once. We all got along once. What is this really about? So remember that when you make the choice to delete and block somebody, you're creating a bigger problem because you can't call us out. And someone has done this recently, has called me out and said, come over and, and speak on this. And you did this and you did that about me, about me. But knowing <laughs> that they were the ones that blocked me for no reason, I can't clearly come and even join a conversation even if I wanted to. I won't because I don't find it necessary. And I know I, the people that don't like me have crossed a line where they have attacked me personally, even though what they put out isn't even truthful. It's not honest. It's just out of spite. But when you delete and block somebody and remove them from being able to actually have an adult conversation with you that could have maybe been over something silly and could have been made right, you're choosing to keep the negativity going. You can't point the finger and say, it's all you, it's all you, it's all you, and then go and block and delete them so they have no way to ever make it right with you. You can't have it both ways. If you want resolution, you have to be open and willing and available to actually receive it. And I am of the belief that everyone is forgivable. I think that there is nothing that someone's done to me. There's been some pretty awful things said about me. But there's nothing that I don't think is this unforgivable. I think that you can always mend fences. And I truly believe that nothing in our doll community warrants the hatred that has come on, on for a while now. I hate to see it. I don't want to be a part of it. I really don't, even though I get sucked into it, you know, but I will defend my friends. It's what we all want to do. We want to, we want to continue to help defend those when you know they're being wronged. And when I know lies are being told about my friends, it's very hard to sit back and just sit quietly and say nothing. When I know, when I know and have watched and I know the facts of the situation, that's the only time I will ever speak on it. And do I sometimes speak up when I shouldn't? Absolutely. Have I commented on people's videos and or posts that maybe I should have just stayed quiet? Absolutely. But I am human as well. I have contributed and I acknowledge that, but this is me being real. If we really truly want peace in our community, guys, we all have to let it go. We all have to agree to disagree and not carry that hatred forward. Just let it go. It can be done. It can be done. And I hope that it, maybe, maybe someone will say, oh, well, maybe that's what we should do and just let stuff go. Stop engaging. Stop feeling like you have to attack and hit below the belt. It's just, it's, it's not a good look for any of us. <laughs> None of us want to look back at this stuff and go, oh, that's what I spent my time doing. I want to enjoy the hobby. I have to enjoy this hobby. I say that over and over again. And for me, in order to enjoy the hobby 100%, I have to let stuff go. And I won't engage. But I can tell you, all the people out there that think they're blocked from my channel, you're not. You can participate. I welcome everybody to come and participate. In fact, I encourage it because if we reopen the lines of communication, you may find that a lot of the fighting and bickering is over nothing. And then we can choose to move on. And even if you're not friends with somebody, you can be cordial, you can be polite, or you can just not engage at all. And that's much better than poking, poking, poking. <laughs> you know, like nobody needs that. So anyways, those are my thoughts. It's not meant to me point fingers at anybody. I think we're all guilty of engaging in the negativity. I think we all have to own our own stuff, our own crap that we bring 
to a potential situation and add to it or fuel it. We've all done that as well. Okay, maybe not all of us, but a large part of the community has engaged somewhat. And if we all own our own stuff and choose not to attack or lash out and learn to let things go, maybe we can all move forward peacefully. I mean, I would love that because I'm here for dolls. <laughs> I'm here for the fun of dolls. And I have too many real life hard things to deal with that I don't need to come here and then see this nonsense. None of us do. This is an escape for most of us. Like I, I would, I would say we're here because we want to escape from our, our real lives. And in order to do that, it needs to be a peaceful, fun place. Like who wants to argue with someone over something silly? Like to me, it's just not worth it. Um, so anyways, those are my thoughts. Like I said, it's not meant to point fingers at any one person. I'm pointing the finger right back at myself. I'm looking at myself and reevaluating myself in the mirror and saying, okay, I have contributed and I need to own that. But I think all of us have to do that. And then we can potentially move forward, be at peace, enjoy the hobby and stop hurting one another. That would be great. So anyways, guys, this was a long chat. Hopefully you guys have stuck with me this long. If you have, thank you. And Hopefully you enjoyed seeing Miss Lola May. <laughs> She's so pretty. Um, I hope you're enjoying your Sunday. And again, thank you for all your support, guys, over the last few days. It's been very much appreciated. So I will be back soon with another video. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.